Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a quick review and a tutorial of a new eyeshadow palette and that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette. I was so excited about this palette. Honestly, I was on a new makeup buy, but then I saw this was released and I was like, are you kidding me? And for the longest, for weeks, I was like, you don't need it, you don't need it. But then I would look at it and I'd see the colors and I was like, god damn it, I need it. And then I was like, no, 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 no you don't. Well, you guys see what happened. So I bought it, but honestly, it's hard to resist Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes because the eyeshadows are really great. I've tried the other eyeshadow palette and I was really, really impressed. And this is my second one. And the fact that they're hard to pass up for me mostly because most high-end eyeshadow palettes are gonna cost you like 50 plus dollars this is only thirty dollars for an eyeshadow palette whereas you're you know seeing drugstore palettes being sold for about 20 so for an extra twenty dollars I'm getting high-end quality shadows and there's 12 shadows you know it's not just like oh, okay only four or five shadows there's 12 shadows and normally, Anastasia Beverly Hills single shadows run for about $12 each. So you're saving a bundle here, $144 as opposed to $30. You're saving over $100. So I was like, you know what? I had to bite the bullet. And honestly, I couldn't not, I couldn't resist these colors. So inside the palette, you get about 12 colors. And honestly, the one color that mainly, mainly, the rest are really beautiful. All of them are really beautiful. But the main color that I really wanted and I've had on my list to purchase from the Anastasia Single Eyeshadows is this one right here, Pink Champagne. It is beautiful. Even more beautiful in person. I was super, super excited for this one. But they're shimmery shaders. Beautiful. I wanted especially this little quad of neutrals that you can kind of play with. And even this pop of all of these colors just look amazing. I'll show you guys swatches of them. Um, but Honestly, you cannot, this is a great deal. Anastasia eyeshadow palettes are a great deal. So if you haven't tried them yet, if you haven't tried any singles, I think a palette is a great way to start. And this is a really great palette to start off with. Even the packaging is very sleek, very simple, but it was just so, it's so beautiful. So I highly recommend this palette. I love how the shadows blend and I just love the pigmentation of them. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, I posted an Instagram photo. Um, I went to a wedding last weekend and, you know, somebody asked like, hey, can you do a tutorial on the look? I was definitely going to do tutorials with this eyeshadow palette, but decided to do this one specifically first for those of you who wanted to see it and definitely going to try to experiment and play with more and then definitely try to bring in the pops of color too. Um, but I really like this for a nice evening look. So if you guys want to see how I got this look and just keep on watching. First I'm going to start off by priming my eyes with NYX eyeshadow base in the color skin tone. Then I'm going to go in the palette with the color soft peach and a fluffy brush and I'm just going to put that all around my crease just as a nice transition shade in preparation for the other colors so they blend a little bit easier. And then I'm going to go back in with a smaller blending brush in that color Morocco and I'm just going to go ahead and put that right into my crease. I'm just going to go back in with that blending brush and just buff it all out. Then I'm going to go in with a more precise pencil brush and go in with that color fudge and I'm just going to put this one directly outside of my outer V and then I'm going to bring it into the inner corner of my eye. So I'm just going in and I'm building that color up to the consistency that I want and a little bit above I'm going to eventually connect that color but I definitely want the most darkness on the outer and inner corner. Then with a clean blending brush, I'm going to go in and just blend that fudge color out. I'm not using any more additional color. I'm just blending it out so we don't have any harsh lines. And then blending it out with a bigger fluffy brush just so we have a nice transition. Then I'm going to go in with that color chick and take a synthetic brush to help pack this on to the center of my lid. I left that blank so that I could pack this on that sparkly shade. And then I'm going to go in with some e.l.f mist and fix or you can use fix plus but if you don't have fix plus mist and fix works really well for this and just add that color and then as well with that clean blending brush just blend that out then i'm going to use Too faced born this way foundation i'm just going to blend that out with a beauty blender on my face and i'll definitely be doing a review of this foundation for you guys Thank you. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and use the NYX Dark Circle Concealer. Mine is in the color medium. And I'm just going to conceal any dark circles that I have. And that's what this peachy shade is going to do in preparation for my actual concealer. And then I'm just going to blend that out real quick with a beauty blender so there's no creasing. And then for my concealer, I'm going to go ahead and use the NYX HD Concealer. I got mine in the color light and I'm just going to place that right above, not too much. And then I'm going to place that on the bridge of my nose, anywhere where I want to highlight and I'm going to go back in with the Beauty Blender and blend that all away. Then I'm going to go in with my Lorac Pro Contour Kit and I'm just taking that yellow highlight and beige highlight and just place that underneath my eyes and any other areas I use that concealer to highlight. So just to set that concealer in place and then for the rest of my face I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline dream wonder powder foundation and just lightly with a dual fiber brush just kind of set my foundation so it doesn't move then I'm gonna go back into the contour kit with the light and medium contour shades and I'm gonna just go and contour and chisel away my face Then I'm going to use MAC Peaches Blush to put on my cheeks and I like to put mine a little bit further back um, just to kind of like lift the face a little bit. I don't like to put it on the apples of my cheeks directly since I do have a rounder face. Then I'm just taking that dual fiber brush just to blend everything out so we don't have any harsh lines. Then I'm going to go back in with a pencil brush and that same Morocco color and I'm just going to place that underneath my lash line and then I'm going to go back in with that fudge color on a more flat head brush and just place that more on the outer corner not coming all the way in just to define my lash line even more and then I'm going to just go back in and blend that out as well. I added Red Cherry 110 Lashes and Kat Von D Liquid Liner and then I'm going to go ahead and line that lash line with Max Costa Riche Eyeliner. This is like a reddish brown eyeliner and then I'm going to go ahead and take Becca's Shimmer and Skin Perfector Champagne Pop and just highlight the tops of my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose and just anywhere you want to shine. Then I'm taking Milani's Most Natural Lip Liner to line all around my lips and then I'm going to go in with Max Honey Love Lipstick and then for my lip gloss I'm going to go ahead and use Bites Rambutant Lip Gloss. Here you have the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out this palette. I've really been loving it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to keep up with some more videos. And I'll see you guys next time.